Internet, welcome to Janderson Gaming. We're gonna play video games. We're gonna review games. We're gonna do what the internet has already done a million times, but a million times better. Not really. Anywho, we're gonna be playing Buck Bumble today. Bam. Just uh, got it from a friend. We used to play it at his house all the time. Good memories. Gameplay, well, uh, we'll take a look and see how if that holds up to this day. All right, uh, made by Ubisoft, it seems. The same Ubisoft that made such great games like Assassin's Creed and Red Steel 2. I'm sure it was real glitchy at launch, but I'm, they patched it by now. They had plenty of time. Ah, rural England, and things are seemingly normal on Earth. Well, I'm glad things are normal. I don't want to start on a bad note. <clears throat> However, a not-so-ordinary situation is developing within the insect kingdom. A poisonous chemical spill that took place many years ago has affected the insect population of an abandoned chemical plant and its surroundings. This looked like medieval times a second ago. And only now the disaster- That's a teleporter. The, what? The evil herd, an insect super race, affected by the population, is now planning to take over the garden and beyond. So pollution made teleporters and cyborg insects that are evil and they're bent on like conquering the world this game's already off to an amazing start you know it's it's really realistic because the pollution you get cyborg bees just like in real life Buck Bumble, it's your job to put a stop to this threat and save us all. Oh, well, I'm, I'm glad that he's on our side. Oh, that music. Oh, man. I just wanna, I just wanna bust a move. All right, let's get started. We're not going to do anything sitting around here, all right? All right, no controller plaque, blah, blah, blah. Forward hurts. Got, all right, who cares? Let's start. Okay, so I guess this is a uh, flying, like, a dogfight shooter game. So it kind of gets the feel. So let's, uh, let's start. Go and inverted controls. Okay, that would have been nice to know. Whatever. So you just kind of fly around in this game, and there's like, these weird acorn things that you collect, and they, uh, they up your bonus meter. And oh my gosh, the camera in this game is horrendous. If you make a sharp turn, the entire camera follows you. And it's like a feeling. It's the worst. Watch, like right here when you have to turn right and you're accelerating. It's the worst. Anywho, so you just kind of fly around and you try to avoid the awful camera. And then eventually you see these, I guess, wasps flying around. And you shoot them, and because this is an N64 controller, steer and aim and shoot are all the same. So it's it's kind of difficult. It's really hard when you're just standing still to shoot something. They, they they move around a lot. It's difficult. Then this happens. Kamikaze wasps are flying into you and exploding. What? This is a child's game. I will remind you. This is made for children. With kamikaze wasps. What is that teaching kids, huh? Blowing up is okay? No, that's wrong. So you shoot them. They give you more ammo for like a machine gun, I guess. I, I didn't really know. I just picked it up. I liked it. And again, turning and steering is not very easy in this game. So you fight here and there's more of these wasp things around. And taking them down with the background of the, like, the solid green with the turn is... Oh, it makes me want to vomit every time. I get nauseous playing this game. Alright, so, again, more acorns. Don't really know what they're for. Kazakazi, kamikaze wasps. Weird, weird, weird. I didn't really understand that. You know. Alright, this next part's a little weird. So, you pick up a rocket launcher, I think... And you just shoot this giant, like, spider thing. Like, like, alright, so nothing else affects it. Watch, see, you get that. Like, the machine gun doesn't work. The basic laser, that doesn't do anything. But then you just blow it up. Look at that. Look, look at the detail in that. That's a This is a game for children, and you're blowing up insects. 
It's like, you know that when you're a kid and you hold the ants underneath the magnifying glass and you bake them? It's like, this is that, the video game. And you're a bee, so it's even worse. You're killing, like, your own people. So, these acorns are just, like, coins, like, the basic things. And when you die, you burst into flames and fall to the ground. That's... This game is for kids. Look at that picture. That's scarring. What, what kid would want to play this? Alright. Mission 2. Let's get started. Radar run. So something I didn't mention before was the music. Now, the music in the menu was really awesome. I really liked it. I liked the bass feel and everything. But uh, this music is a bit repetitive. It's, it's the same music from the first level. And it... uh. It's like the same five notes it just doesn't stop and it's on a like a five second repeat it's awful anywho something else i noticed when i was playing this game um when i started the second level i had the same amount of health i finished the first level with so you carry over health you don't start the second level with full health and when you die you go back to the beginning of the second level with that half health which is why i'm like getting destroyed in this level so, a little bit different this level, your, the objective is not to destroy all the enemies, but to get rid of all the radars. And, um, so it's, it's slightly different, but again, like, I have no health, and the kamikaze wasps are a coming. So, I just, it's really difficult, this game. It's just like, nope, there I go. Dead again. Alright, I'm done. I probably should have finished the game, but I gave up. I got bored. I want to do something else. I want to play more Metroid Prime Trilogy. I want to play more Last of Us. I want to do anything but more of Buck Bumble. Okay, but before I go, I do want to touch on the multiplayer. It does have multiplayer, surprisingly. It has two-player battle and buzz ball. We'll take a look and see what that looks like. I think this game might have the best video game music for a menu. And it's a Buck Battle, not the way, not just battle. And uh, starring Buck Bumble and uh, Buck Bumble. Alright, let's do this. So, first off, it's pretty much the same thing as the single player. I mean, you're flying around, highly mobile, same controls, everything like that. The problem is, the single player wasn't good to begin with, and now you're just adding a highly mobile foe to shoot. It's, it's really not that fun, because the enemies in the single player were not sporadic like a player would be. You know, they moved in relatively straight lines, up and down, not, you know, nothing sporadic like a player would do to get away from danger. But, because they're it, they are a player, it's just whoever has the better weapon wins. You're just gonna, it's just gonna be a standstill of both of you shooting each other, and the guy with the better weapon wins while the other one tries to run away but you know it's it's not very fun and there's a lot of bonking into walls and stuff you know it's it's not fun it's it's all right maybe like it was fun for the first like five minutes like you know going after my friend is buck bumble you know who was buck bumble yeah i know confusing anywho um the problem with it really is it's boring and that's something that a game cannot be because if it's boring what's the point of playing it the whole time you're looking for them and it just takes so long this is a three kill win game and i had about 10 minutes of footage for it i just i'm not going to record over the whole thing i'm not going to show the whole thing it's really boring uh so i don't don't play it don't play this game it's not fun all right buzz ball that's it then we're done playing this game i'm ready to get back to some of that metroid prime so this is soccer they call it buzz ball for copyright issues but it's soccer as a cyborg bee so this is a game where you play with your friend enemy ally your mom your dog whoever you play video games with and you're a cyborg bee in a uh it looks like a silent movie there's no music in this mode for some reason and you run into a giant soccer ball and try to score goals it's it's bad first off it's just it's not fun there's no attention to detail, hence the, you know, no music. I checked the options, and music was cranked all the way up, so, you know. And, um, they probably spent a day of work on this, Ubisoft. Come on, man. I know Assassin's Creed wasn't great, but, you know, patch it. You know, it's been almost 20 years. Patch this game. You know, send out that N64 patch. I believe in you guys. Anywho, uh, don't play Buck Bumble. That's really all I have to say. In this video, you've seen the entire game. There's nothing left to it.
Hey internet, thanks for watching my video, especially if you're not a family member and I didn't tell you about it. If you found me, thanks for watching him. I told you how to find me, thanks for watching. If you're my mom, thanks for watching. But uh, please like, comment, dislike, subscribe, do whatever you want, just comment below please. I'd much appreciate that. Um, I'm hopefully gonna roll out an ex uh, another video two weeks. Two weeks is probably gonna be the thing. Maybe a school gets really hard, junior year, not easy. But uh, thanks everybody for watching. It really um, warms me in the heart. And uh, yeah, see you next two weeks.